and Sir Topham Hatt's engines were busy. The snow made their journeys difficult. They had to work hard to deliver passengers and goods to their destinations on time. This made the engines feel very reliable. Elizabeth pulled into the fitter's yard with Thomas's snowplow. I don't need that silly old thing, huffed Thomas. Stuff and nonsense, steamed Elizabeth. You can't be a reliable engine if you can't get through the snow. That made Thomas cross. You know I'm reliable. I just don't like my snowplow. Elizabeth is rude, Thomas chuffed. And this snowplow makes my buffers ache. Later, Thomas saw Sir Topham Hatt talking to Elizabeth. The Sodor Cake Factory is snowed in. Their Christmas cakes must get to the docks before the ship sails for the mainland. Let me do the job. I need you on your line, Thomas. Besides, Elizabeth knows those roads well. She's very reliable. I'm reliable too, huffed Thomas. Apparently not reliable enough, Elizabeth chuffed. Now Thomas was crosser still. The snow was heavy, but Thomas arrived at every station right on time. Elizabeth was struggling to stay on the road. Her wheels did not like the slippery ice at all. When Thomas arrived at the docks to pick up Terence, he was surprised that Elizabeth had not returned. The ship will miss the tide, said the dock manager, and the children won't have their Christmas cakes. Thomas, go and look for Elizabeth at once. Yes, sir, answered Thomas. Perhaps Elizabeth isn't so reliable after all, he whispered. At the cake factory, Elizabeth was piled high with crates of Christmas cakes. Sir Topham Hatt's counting on me. I mustn't be late. She chuffed onto the icy road. Suddenly, she was on a steep hill. Her driver applied the brakes. Elizabeth slid out of control into a deep snowdrift. Poor Elizabeth. Thomas and Terence puffed through the swirling snow. They couldn't see Elizabeth anywhere. Soon they spotted her driver. He was standing by the level crossing. Elizabeth is stuck under the snow, her driver explained. I need help to dig her out. Terence rescued her in no time. We will have to hurry, said Thomas. It wasn't your fault, Elizabeth. It's the slippery roads. Elizabeth felt much better. Thomas chuffed and puffed as fast as he could. They reached the docks just in time. Sir Topham Hatt was delighted to see the bakery crates and that Elizabeth was safe and well. We'll get you unloaded immediately. Now the children will have their Christmas cakes, said Thomas. Well done, said Sir Topham Hatt. Oh, thank you, Thomas, said Elizabeth. You and I are both reliable. Thomas agreed. <laughs> 